Welcome to video 18 on fun with Arduino. We are at part 2 of our railway crossing project and we are going to have a look how we can operate the gate using a servo motor. This is the one that we are going to use. It's probably the cheapest we can find on the internet. It will set you back just about 2 euros. But despite that price, uh, there's an incredible amount of technology inside. There is a uh, control circuit board, then there's the motor itself, there's a gearbox. This one shows a metal one with, with a very cheap server. It will be a plastic one, but that is just as good for our purpose at least and then there's also a potentiometer that measures the angle and sends that signal back to the control unit so how does this control work well that's like this we send a sort of pulse width modulated signal it's not exactly the same but almost the same and that that width that determines the angle that we want to send the motor shaft to uh, that means that this amplifier is going to send a current to the motor, the motor is going to turn and the output shaft is also going to turn and the potentiometer measures where it is. And as long as there is a difference between the set point and the actual angle, then there will flow this current. And only if these two signals are the same, then the motor will stand still. So even uh, if, we want to, if we apply a force to the uh, output shaft, uh, making it uh, move away from where it is, then as soon as that happens, the motor will try to counteract that. This is how a servo works. Um, the connection is like this. The red wire goes to the 5 volt. The brown is the ground and the orange wire is our signal that is connected to one of the Arduino pins. Uh, take care though, the uh, motors can be quite hungry for current, even these tiny ones. So you can put one or maybe two of those uh, directly on an Arduino 5 volt. But if you have more than, the, than one or two motors to operate, then please use an external 5 volt power supply to uh, power them. Maximum of 12 servers can be connected to one Arduino. And usually these, these motors have a, an angle range of, one to, uh, 180, of 0 to 180. Or there are also types that go to 90 degrees. So take care when you buy one that you, you have the one that you need for your application. Well, let's have a look at some code, how we can operate it. To operate our servo, we need to connect it to an Arduino pin, which is what we do here with the define servo pin 3. There's no reason for 3, it can be any pin. When we send an angle to this pin, then what happens is the servo moves to that angle with its maximum speed, which is not what we want. We want the gate to move nice and slow from uh, open to close. And that is where the LED fade software comes in. We have done exactly the same when we slowly faded a LED on or off. With an interval time, we make uh, incremental steps. And that is exactly what we are going to do here. This is even the same software, the LED fade software with servo functions added to it. So here at the very top we have our gate speed, which is the interval time between angle steps that we are going to take. The smaller number means the server will move faster. Then of course we need to define two angles for uh, this gate system. Uh, an angle when the gate is open and another angle when the gate is closed. And we already know that there should be approximately 90 degrees in between those. Mm, okay, let's have a look what we need to do to make the servo work besides uh, giving it a pin number. The servo functions are not loaded by default. We have to include the servo library, which we do over here. 
uh, notice these uh, brackets, they are needed. And this servo.h, that is the file name of the servo library. That servo library that came with the Arduino software, so you don't have to download anything, it's already there. We, all we need to do is include it over here. And once it is included, then we can specify a servo with this command. Servo with a capital S and then the name of the servo. And in case that you have maybe two, three or more servos, you can have a maximum of 12 on one uh, Arduino. Then you just uh, repeat this command and give them all a different name. That's all there is to it. All right, we have to control uh, the uh, servo and we do that with these two variables that we declare here. An angle, that's the actual uh, value and the set point, that's the target value. At startup, we both set them to gate open. And then we have our uh, timer, the time for servo movement. And that is what we are going to use with our millis clock just like we did with the LED fade. Let's have a look at setup. Well, uh, the pin is, uh, the input pin is for our toggle switch, which I'm going to use to uh, operate the servo. But the more important command is over here. Uh, we now connect, or attach the uh, servo to the pin. This is the crucial command. Don't forget this in your setup for every servo that you specified attach it to its pin. Once that is done, we can operate the servo. And the, to operate the servo, the command needed for that is the name of the servo and then write an angle. It's as simple as that. Uh, but we do that, of course, inside our timer, the, such that we get uh, the new angle step by step. So if it is time to move, then we uh, change our time to move to a future time. That is the clock plus the gate speed. And of course, we change our angle with an increment of a one. And then we write our angle to the servo. It's as simple as that. And also I print to the set point and the actual angle here so that we can see on screen what is happening. Let's try this out. Let's upload this code and start the video. And then we can start the serial monitor when the upload is finished. Yeah, right now. The angle and the target, the set point is 45. I'm going to toggle the switch now. And yeah, there it's going. Well, it moves. It, uh, it is going to 135. That's uh, great. It's perfectly horizontal. It's moving a little bit fast to my liking. I think uh, the gate of the uh, prototypical example was much slower. So, and also the open angle yeah, is a bit too far away. I, I would say it, it should be a little bit more to the left. Let's make some changes. The gate speed over here, well, uh, let's just double that. That uh, should come close. And then I could change that open angle, but it is more fun if we change this set point over here to uh, reading our analog potentiometer that I still have connected. And I am going to map the analog potentiometer values to servo angles between 2 and 178. And now let's upload this and see what we can do. We should now be able to fine tune our angle by hand. So yeah, that, that is fun. And then we can find the correct angle and then uh, write that in the code. I'm going to toggle the switch now. Yeah, it's much slower, which is nice. This looks much more prototypical. And now the uh, open angle, well, we can now fine tune it with the potentiometer. And well, it, it was uh, over here with the, the previous uh, uh, situation. And now we can see where we would like it to be, maybe exactly vertical, more or less like this which is already a 60 degrees here on our screen. Or maybe I think that in reality it is not even exactly vertical, but maybe a little bit like this. 
uh, which is about 70 degrees. We can remember that value and put that value later in our code for the complete railway crossing. Well, this was it. In the next video, we are going to do the train detection, probably with optical sensors. Maybe see you back there. Bye bye.